it's marathon day. Hello, I'm Carl Brown and today I'm going to be vlogging my second attempt at the Manchester Marathon. If you saw my last vlog, uh, you'll know that I did the Manchester Marathon back in October in about four hours, just under four hours. My training hasn't been what I wanted it to be this time round. I've had a cold for the last month and I've also managed to pick up a couple of uh, niggling injuries. But my last long training run did go really well, apart from a slight muscle strain in my right ankle. But 23 miles in 3 hours 25 minutes. So at race pace today, who knows? I've had a couple of weeks to rest and recover, a couple of small runs in that time. So I'm going to finish getting ready to head up to Manchester. Uh, I should be heading off in about 10 minutes, so ooh, see you up in Manchester. Just in the start area now. Technology, ladies and technology will stay warm. 24,000 runners signed up this year. There's going to be a lot of people on the road to Manchester today. It's quite nice weather. It's not as hot and sunny as it was when I did this back in October. Nice bit of chill, so I should warm up quite nicely. And hopefully not come away with such a bright, vibrant tan as I seemed to pick up last time. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful marathon running conditions on a Sunday morning here. We're liking the, uh, the fun and the uh, marathon marathon. Any uh, discarded clothes, please just chuck them over the side. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see if I can keep this up. I've managed to pick up a couple of knocks in training. But this should be a fun day. Nice weather, not too overcast, not too hot either. So I won't have the same old heat stroke issues as last year. Let's see how we go. See you in a bit. miles down coming up at the first water station feeling like a good pace so far it's about 21 minutes pretty bit quick considering training the last month didn't go so well but fingers crossed to hold on to it for another 23.2 miles let's see I'm in about 45 minutes, so I'm doing good pace. I will be slowing down because it's a marathon. I'm not going to be able to get that pace all the way through, but I'm feeling quite good. Still got a bit of a cold from about a month ago, which is affecting my lungs a little bit, but we'll see how things go.
Yeah. This third reaction, if you've never done Manchester Marathon before, this is an amazing marathon. Such a great atmosphere here from the crowd. On Sunday morning. Nice and uh so of car so it can't be get nice standing around all day cheering the runners on. But major thanks to everybody out cheering us on, pushing us forward, making sure we complete today's marathon. You are the stars. Thirteen miles, the half marathon. Marker coming up. Good time so far, about one hour forty-three-ish to reach the half mile, half marathon. Sorry, still going quite well. Good pace. Amazing crowd again. Let's just keep going. So my plan for three and a half hour marathon is long gone out the window. Uh, Manage your elder dropping. Both knees are hurting, both ankles are hurting. I'm still on course for PB. We've just gone past 21 miles, so about five miles left to go. Let's see how long this will take me. Nearly there. Again, this, this amazing crowd. All this amazing support people are giving us on the day. Absolutely fantastic. I want to thank everybody who came out and supported the marathon today here in Manchester. I said it earlier, they are the real stars. You are the real stars out here today. Thank you. One point two miles to go. It's taking me about three hours forty minutes so far. Should be a new PB. I just need to keep running, keep going. We're nearly there, nearly there. So very close. Two kilometers done, nearly there. 26 miles on, should be just up ahead. And there's the sprint finish, well, not sprint finish, kind of a meander finish.
Masters. Massive effort. Massive effort from these people. And as you finish it, ladies and gentlemen, just keep the legs moving. Just, I know you want to make it just bend loose. Three hours, 51 minutes, according to the watch. I'll get the official time eventually. Let's go. Get the medals. T-shirts. I'll do a deep So that's my second Manchester Marathon done, my second ever marathon. Uh, I've not done many runs over 20 miles at all. Uh, so today was a lot of fun, I've got to say. The support, you heard me talk about it on the run, from everybody was just absolutely incredible. Uh, for me today, really drove home that a marathon is as much a mental contest as it is a physical one for yourself. Uh, last year, uh, well, for the first time doing it, I struggled at one stage and I did have to switch from listening to music to listening to an audiobook. There's a book called, uh, I think last year I listened to Letters from a Stoic by Seneca, which is weird. I'm into my stoicism. Uh, it really helps with mental fortitude. I didn't have to do that this year, although I did quote a few lines from Epictetus this year, which was uh, rather interesting. I've, if anybody heard me uh, whilst I was doing that, uh, yes, I am insane. Big shout out to a couple of people I bumped into. Uh, didn't get the name of this first one, but thank you for watching last year's vlog, which I posted in the uh, Manchester Marathon 2022 group on Facebook. It meant a lot to hear you say that you've watched the video and that you recognised me. It's incredible. Uh, and also to Keith, um, who I bumped into a few times, well not literally, uh, but he actually slipped and fell at the two mile mark. So for most of the marathon he was uh, run walking and it was his 123rd marathon. Today was his 123rd marathon. That is absolutely incredible. Keith, you are an inspiration, uh, not just for doing so many marathons, but today I saw your knee, it was quite heavily banged up, bleeding, and you still managed to get around the marathon. I saw you overtake me uh, near the end again. Uh, so kudos to you. So my time, how did I do this year? Uh, well, my training didn't go as I wanted. Uh, for the last month or so, I've had a cold that just will not quit. Uh, it's not been a bad cold, it just one of those lingering ones that sticks in your throat and you, makes it difficult to breathe. Uh, I also, when I did my 23 mile run uh, for training a few weeks ago, about three weeks ago, uh, managed to strain something in my right ankle, which is going to take a long time to heal. And I've still got damage in my left ankle, which I spoke about in last year's marathon vlog, uh, which unfortunately the injection didn't work, so it is going to require surgery. That said, I did manage to knock a new PB out today of 3 hours 51 minutes exactly. And I did want three and a half hours as I said at one stage on the, on the run, but I knew quite early on that wasn't going to happen. It could have done it if I'd been able to keep the pace up uh, that I set off early, but again, idiot that I am, set off way too quick. and. I did actually have to stop a couple of times just to stretch out and a couple of walking breaks, not as many as last year. Today was incredible. I am really happy for today and so proud of everybody. Uh, everybody who's completed the marathon, everybody who started the marathon, who made the start line, and everybody who was training for this marathon, even if you didn't make it to the start line, I am super, super proud of each and every one of you. It takes a lot of dedication to train for a marathon. It takes a lot of dedication to run a marathon. It takes a lot of dedication to finish a marathon. What's next for me? I've got Man V Mountain in September. Uh, I might stick a couple of half marathon runs in later in the year as well. But right now I'm going to go find uh, my dad who's giving me another lift uh, to Manchester and back to Nottingham in a day. And then I'm going to go home and I'm going to eat everything. I'm Carl Brown. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and I will speak to you in the next video. Bye.